Hi, I'm Sana and welcome to another episode of Greg and H Inquisition. So I don't really remember what we did in the last episode. Shocking, I know, right? <laughs> um, I think we finished up um, the Emerald Graves and we started the quest line for Josephine, I believe, because there are assassins um, on her, basically. And she has this elaborate plan to get them off their back by, ooh, what was it, alleviating some family to a noble status so that they can um, destroy the contract that was on her or something, yada yada. I did the first mission on the mission board for that, so I'm gonna talk to Josephine to see if she's got anything to say about that. Probably has something to say about that. Any news on the House of Repose, Inquisitor? Uh, uh, next move. What's the next favor we need to get these two parakets a lordship? We need a judge of the royal court to procure documents acknowledging them as nobility again. Okay. Um, arrange a favor at the war table. Sure. I needed to go to the war table anyway. Because as I logged in... I had a message that all of the missions were done in the war table, so. Let's see where we stand with these missions. So we had the consequences of Black Bull's lie. Uh, okay, I guess that was the end of that. I don't know what that... I think that was just a random mission that I picked. Um, and everything that we... That was stolen have been found. Lovely. Okay. Um, draw out the Red Templar Lieutenant. Looks like Fairbanks was good on his word. The Freemen were helping the Red Templar smuggle Red Lyrium through the Dales. In exchange, they received gold and supplies, which was to go towards the furtherance of their cause. Their hopes were fueled and then exploited. We can end this by drawing out the Red Templars responsible for encouraging Freeman activity. That sounds interesting. Um, Cullen, why don't you do Inquisitor. that? Why don't you do that? Um, where is this quest for Josephine? Is that even in this bit? Or is that somewhere else? Red Jenny, not yet. Moving around. Oh, this is Dorian's thing. Oh, interesting. He has found a connection between Corypheus and an ancient magister named Sethius of House Amladaris. This will be difficult to prove and may be of limited use, but it's worth noting that House Amladaris still exists. Even the accusation that Corypheus and Sethius are the same person would be worthy of a scandal in Tevinter, one that the current members of the family might be desperate to avoid. I Inquisitor. like this. It's a seven, almost a seven hour long <laughs> mission on this ward, but sure. Let's, let's do it. Um, getting a judge favor. There we go. Uh, okay. Approach. We have approached Judge Alt, who's requested a party of Inquisition soldiers meeting him in the Fosbacks for a hunting expedition. Some sort of rare spider, as big as a horse, the judge was telling me. I don't need to know spiders like this. No, 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 it's fine. Uh, Inquisitor. You do that. Okay. Well, all set then. All set. I might not have arachnophobia, but spiders the size of horses. Uh... I do not jump with joy upon hearing this. <laughs> no, I do not jump with joy from hearing this. Okay, um, I see that I need to level up. So why don't I? 
what do I want? Good question. Am I just going to flesh out my Rift Mage even more? Weakened enemies have the damage they inflict reduced even further. I like the sound of that. There you go. There you go. Okay. Um, I have this quest, right? It says return to the tomb. Because I think we did a mission or something to um, discover an extra thing. So I kind of want to go back to the tomb and see what's up. I'm not sure why I'm walking outside for that. But... <laughs> um, the Emerald Rays return to the tomb. Which tomb was this? Oh, all the way up here. Oh, right, that tomb. They wouldn't let us in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um. Look at all these fancy cards. But we really need to do something about Cassandra. <laughs> we do need to do something about Cassandra. Uh, almost everyone's got their thing going on. We still need to do Iron Bull. I'm not sure if we've done anything for Solas that is like significant. I don't feel like we did. Uh, anyway, Blackwall, Sarah and Dorian, let's go. There we go, we literally jumped in the on the screen. It's so funny, like when the loading screen is like done a little quicker, you can actually see that the NPCs are literally being thrown from the sky in onto the ground it's it's kind of funny well 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 Hayden's party the one after elfie history figures that's a bunch of dead all the way back looks like they tried to fight back but most were unarmed poor buggers never stood a chance there should be inquisition soldiers here okay so that didn't really work out. Let's go and check. Okay. Well, this is pretty. There's only one way to go, I see. These are very cool statues. They're still wolves, right? Yeah, they're just howling. Okay, that's cool. I like that. These are our men. Oh, so they are. Oof. Um, curse the past, the place where lies were born. For beneath their sun, our people fall. The lands their lady once bestowed, now stolen in her name. So when these words are read, we shall be gone. Oh, okay. Emerald Knights. I think it's slowly coming back to me what exactly is happening in this area, but it's still a bit vague for me. So, uh, that's nice. <laughs> Enemies! Hello! It will be wonderful to rid the world of these cretins. Where are we going? Where are we going? Just stay there. Just stay there. Where we can see you. Screams of agony. Oh, I just spotted the big guy. Red Templar behemoth. Right, okay, so there's more Red Templars here. Of course there is. Of course there is. Jumping for loot. Search them. Maybe we can figure out what they were after. Uh, I do like my fate touched materials. Emerald Corypheus's seal. men had part of a seal. Do they even know what it opens? I doubt they care, so long as they acquire it first. One out of nine, though. Okay. I assume we need to go up the stairs, so let me just do a full sweep. Making sure we didn't miss anything. Okay. This place is absolutely in ruins. It's pretty though. Ooh. 
Who's that supposed to be? Cry for the past, only there does glory dwell. For here, the bow was strung, the sword bequeathed, the vows sworn. So glory was born within the hearts of elves. Oh, okay. Even in ruins, this is quite the place. Elfy stuff is always a ruin. Wonder why that is. Oh, right. <laughs> uh, we have an elf with us that is not really particularly into elfy stuff. Uh, what's the green smoke? That's not safe to stand in, I will bet. No, that's locked. Can't go there. Knight's Hall. Well, that is gorgeous. Okay. And there are enemies. Quite a few. Venatory Spellbinder. You're getting all sorts of enemies in here. So there are Red Templars and Venatory. Alright then. What's in here? Oh, our people were glorious and eternal and never changing. Like the great oak tree. They were constant in their traditions, strong in their roots and ever reaching for the sky. They felt no need to rush when life was endless. They worshipped their gods for months at a time. Decisions came after decades of debate. And an introduction could last for years. From time to time, our ancestors would drift into centuries-long slumber. But this was not death. For we know they wandered the fade in dreams. Okay, uh, this is too much to read, but sure. I guess eternity would do that to you. You can see that often in video games and in fantasy stories. Where we deal with a race that is immortal their perception of time is so different and it doesn't matter if things take years to do like an introduction or uh, um, a debate a conversation something to ponder upon you will you will often see that it takes them years to 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 complete these things because time doesn't matter to them right because they're they're immortal oh. That's the thing here as well then. Okay, I think what they want me to do is kill something to get another seal. And I will get to that once I've looted everything. A venatory tone. Um, I say that as I will, as if I know where to go for this. I don't. Are we meant to like... Oh! Uh, slowly, steady, steady, quick, 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 quick. <laughs> oh! Could have just taken the ladder, but no. Or the stairs, I should say. I could have taken the stairs, but no. But no. I know! Worth a look around, right? It's so weird that they still give you these weird tutorials as if you've never done this before. It is so weird. Is there just not a bottle of Thetis or something? Okay, fair enough. It is a seal. That's great. <sighs> Sing for the past, where rests those who came before. For each night, a seed was sown. Roots twisting with their brothers and sisters, so the forest grew, a reflection of our might. Okay. I think we need to go to the other side now. Oh, 
Hello, mosaic piece. I would almost forget that we are still collecting these things. Um, where do they want me to go? Oh. Here. There we go. We got another seal. Um, okay, then I suppose suppose we go and go through the great door at that side question mark there is no door here but there's another hallway so that's good i suppose anything of interest here yes Sarah, would you be a dear and open this up for me? Thank you. Treasure? Um, <laughs> not really, <laughs> but thanks anyway. Is there a similar door on the other side or no? No. Alright. Alright. Climb down, it says. I suppose we do that. Climb down. Eee. Okay. Anything here? Another rope door? Okay. Thanks, Sarah. Amazing loot. Love it. I mean, that's not your fault, Sarah. You, 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 would, you didn't know it was behind the door. You just opened it up for me. Uh, I see more enemies. Oh, but look how pretty. I am a sucker for these sun shafts that come through. That is just gorgeous. Not sure how I feel about this winged creature statue. That is a wing, right? That is a wing. Not sure how I feel about that. That could turn devilish really fast. And I am supposed to interact with the statue as well. Okay. <sighs> Forget not the past. It is all that remains. For each night a seed was sown. Which was yeah, oh yeah, are I Oh no, it's a reflection of our sorrow. Uh, okay, so it's a reflection of sorrow. It's a reflection of uh, something else on the other statue. Okay. Let's go and kill the behemoth. I would like to discover this place in peace. And I can't quite do... They're only level 15. Wait, what's my level? What is my level? I'm 20? Oh no. Bada bing, bada boom. Throw a bit of weakness on them. There we go. A little bit of fire. And that's not our seal, and that's good. Um, okay, I feel like I have not explored anything yet here. Um, there is another ladder down. And that's another Venatory Stalker. Can I reach them from here? Oof. Ah, uh, he's coming. Okay. Where did I enter from? Here, right? Okay. 
Like I'm in my head, I would like to clear this room as systematic as possible. Is there something I need from here? I mean, yes. You? It's you. Another seal. That is already six out of nine. Okay. Um, where does this all lead to? Oh, there are too many branches. Josephine is already ready with her mission. Okay. That was fast. There is another thing here. Ooh. Uh, hi. Venatory. Thanks for uh, helping, guys. That's awesome. Much appreciated. Okay. Um, there is some vilfire here, and there must be a reason for this. Was I already supposed to go in here, or did I just... Go rogue and off the grid. Um, is this where we need to... Oh, this is the door where we need the seals for. Okay. Um, well, in that case, I am going to leave this place. I want to drop this thing. Somehow the compass shows me that there is still something to like uh, discover or look for, right? With the, the circle around it, but it's not happening. Okay, so that's where we eventually need to go. Um, I, I, I am lost. Where did I come from? Right, this is where... Okay, and then if we take a right, that's where we need to go. So if we go here... We can walk up. Okay. Um. Oh! That seems like a black ball thing. There you go. Thanks for smashing it. Okay, I see a bunch of things. So there is one of these. That's one. Then if we take the vilfire. This one wasn't that difficult to spot. And then... Another thing somewhere. And um, an impressive Muriel. Alright. And here is another rogue door. Um, should we light it? Is there a thing where we need to light every single brazier with uh, veil fire in order to uh, do something? I can see that being a thing. I can totally see that being a thing. Loot, loot, loot. I need only one more seal to open that door. Hmm. 
Hmm. And where would one get that seal? Near the purple circle, I suppose. Up or down? Oh, there is a thing. Ooh. Found it. Okay. So now we go and interact with that door down below, I suppose. I mean, I do think that I've seen everything. Oh. Never mind, I did not see everything. Look at us getting all these uh, all these glyphs, huh? Okay, another rogue door. My my my. I'm just starting to call this a rogue door because I can't unlock it. So now it's just forever a rogue door. I am not going to jump down. <laughs> but maybe I should jump down. Oh my god, just loot it. Please just loot it. Loot it. Did I loot it? <sighs> Crying out loud. <laughs> uh, is it safe to jump down? No, it's too high. I think you'll die if you jump down. I just want to make sure that I have... Oh, we're here, right, on top of this uh, statue here. I just want to make sure that I have done everything. Oh, definitely not jumping down there. Have I lit every brazier that I can see? Nah, this is too high. If we jump down, we'll injure ourselves. There's no point in taking risks like that. The fact that there is just once again no background music and everything. <sighs> Just makes this all the more eerie. Realistic, but eerie. You know, real life doesn't have any background music either. But um, I sure do wish we had sometimes. Have I walked through this bit already? Have I seen what's in here? No, there's an enemy here. Haha! -ha. Found you. Down you go. Down you go indeed. All right. All right. Just in case I need the torch, I'll go and grab my torch. Okay. I think I have now seen everything. Um, so then we go over here. This compass is now forever telling me that there is something. Um, that's really annoying. Okay. This is it. Whatever Taven hoped to find, it's here. Can't be good, right? It 
can't be good. I see something blue, flamey. Hmm. I don't like any. What's up with these ugly statues? I think they're ugly and creepy. Why? Ugh. Alright, I'll light all these razors. Oh, okay. I guess these people didn't like me lighting up razors. Okay, camera, please. Can't see anything. Okay, was that it? Loot. Take. Um. What else is up here? Yeah, the compass is now just going to forever tell me that there is something I need to look for and it's just not happening. Okay, more enemies. So every time I light a brazier, some mobs will show. Well, great. See if I care. See if I care. I'll kill you. Uh, where's my torch? There is my torch. Oh, why did I drop my torch? I don't want to drop my torch. Another sigil. Okay, so mobs don't spawn here. Interesting. But I bet here they will. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. And where are the other two? And Dana. Big up face down. Do I even know what I was fighting? They're just undead, right? That's it. Take the torch. Was there no more loot? Okay. Just just light it. Don't jump. Just light it. There you go. Oh! Hello. I see. That's a lot. That is a lot. What are you? What's that called? Revenant. Okay. Let's go and hit it. Set it on fire. Burn it. Okay. Oh, a fancy shield. Thanks for that. Uh, I can take that. I don't want to take that. I'll have to take that. But let me double check that I have seen everything in here first. I really hope that in the next game it's better with the controls so that I don't constantly jump for loot <laughs> at all times. I really, really don't want another game where when I'm trying to press A to loot that I am jumping instead. I really don't want that for another, or another round. <laughs> Okay, so there is nothing else. There is a ladder down here. Now that this platform is up, there is a ladder. 
Huh. I'm curious. Before I take that flame, right? Before I take the flame. I might need to take the flame, but before I take the flame. I think I need to take the flame. Is there nothing here? Really? You would think that there was going to be a thing here. Guess not. Bye guys. Bye. Fine, I'll take the suspicious blue thing. What is it? It's a scroll? Have I found the Elder Scroll? The death of Elandrin. Elandrin, our brother. Falundin guide you. Maker guide you. Let here the truth be kept. Lest you be remembered a traitor. Or our sorrow seems a passing woe. Oh, this is a long story. Not reading all of that. of Red Crossing. When the elves attacked that town, it prompted the exalted march of the Dales. We should give this to the Dalish. They have a claim to it. I imagine the Chantry would be interested in it as well. Okay. So we can either rat them out or not. <sighs> uh, that's also a very long story. We're not reading all of that. Definitely not reading all of that. So this was it then. We have found a, a key item. And we get to decide what to do. Who do I return to if I want to return to the Dalish? Like, who do I give it to? And have I discovered the entirety of this place? I suppose I did. I can't believe that there's actually nothing down here. That is so stupid. Totally should be something here. Hmm. Do I give it? If I give it to the Dalish, uh, do I give it to the um, the only camp of Dalish people that we have encountered? Is that what we do? Do we give it to them? It's it's the only group of Dalish people, right? Uh, exit then, I suppose. Well, this was a cool place nonetheless. Uh, oh, do I have to walk all the way back or is there like a shortcut to exit? Um, where do I go? I'm still holding this torch, like, for dear life. Oh, is it the exit? Yes. Okay, good. Okay, so we have a choice to give this bit of history back to the Dalish. It's part of their history and their culture. Or we sell the history to the Chantry. And I'm not sure why I would do that. It already doesn't sound so nice. Um, but I also feel like we're ratting them out. Because clearly there is something that they that they try to keep hidden here. And it just doesn't feel right to like rat them out or whatever. So... Um, exalted Plains, return to the Dalish. Yeah, yeah, it's totally this place. Let's go and do that. Hello, Dalish person. It's good to see you again. Jumping, naturally. Um, I found something, because I was nosy. I found something about Red Crossing in Dinan Hanin. If you went to the Emerald Grave, did you see Tavern and the others? Uh, they were killed. I'm sorry. I am too. Sorry, but not surprised. Thank you for bringing this to me. It is part of our tale and will be cherished. 
Alright. May your gods watch over you, friend. Thanks. Okay, so we did a good thing. Yay. Um I suppose we can go back to Josephine now. Bestow morning holla operation available. Oh, okay. Oh, I still had something to hand in here. Oh, wasn't that the great bear thing? It totally was, wasn't it? Welcome again, friend. Okay. That was the last item that they needed for their uh the for resupplying their stock. Okay, Colin is also at your board and I, I are you all right? Oh. I'm not sure if that's supposed to happen. But I'll allow it. Wrong button. Ah, we had such a good ride of me not pressing the wrong button for so long and now it's just happening all over again. Pressing the wrong button. Um skyhold it is then. Okay, here we are. I kind of want to talk to Cassandra to see if there is something up still. I'm not sure if there is something that we need. What are these exclamation marks? Hello. Is that You'll over be here? Quick, will you? I'm a runner. They may be running. No need for commentary. Just do your job. This is part of my job. It is if I say it is. Right you are. <laughs> What's that about? You okay, dude? Oh, oh Bells, it's you. <clears throat> Morris. Sir Morris, I suppose. I am serving as quartermaster for Skyhold and its arriving throngs. Stores are growing, and so long as we have fair coin to restock, you and yours will be well served. <clears throat> oh, right, because he replaces Thren. The previous quartermaster survived Haven. Where is she? She had views. <laughs> had views. Has views. Perfectly legitimate ones, if you share them, Inquisitor. I believe it was felt that your quartermaster should be more palatable now that the Inquisition is in Orle. Oh. She continues to serve, just not at the fore. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> ha. Okay. As you were. We are here for you, Inquisitor. Yeah, she like believed in uh, someone else was the righteous king, betrayed, whatever, blah blah blah, right? Yeah, yeah. Um. I have a few things I can make actually. Let's craft these requisites for the people. Don't say I never did anything for you. Do I want to make a sad a sad weapon has a banana on it? That is a sad weapon. We are honored to serve. I know, right? You should all be happy. Um okay, Cassandra. Oh yeah, totally. Planning troop movements now? I'm trying to imagine what it will look like when we're done. All of this once belonged to the Tevinta Imperium. Andraste changed that, as did the Blight. As for what will come next, I cannot guess the Maker's plan. Um. You don't have any ideas of your own? I know. I want a world where people trust the Chantry and that trust is respected. I want to respect tradition, but not fear change. I want to right past wrongs, but not avenge them. And I have no idea if my wanting these things makes any of them right. Oh, uh, they're admirable. Even if they're not right, they're certainly admirable. Some would disagree. They would call it heresy. It didn't sound like the ravings of a heretic, Cassandra. Perhaps not. But it takes precious little effort to paint even an act of compassion as damaging. Tell me, what guides you? You make decisions that shake the world, yet always seem so assured. I wish I had your confidence. Haha, <laughs> uh... I kind of just wing it, though. I'm not that assured. I just make it up as I go. <laughs> Let all your followers take heart. <laughs> what can I say? It's worked so far. Think of it. Like Andraste long ago, once again the fate of Thedas will be determined by a woman. It makes me proud to know you. <laughs> 
Um, sure. Friends. I hope we can call each other friends. I hope so too. Yay, we friendship. We still have a long road to travel, Inquisitor. Wherever it takes us, I'm glad you're here. The power of friendship. Hooray. And I else? understand the Inquisition has tracked down the missing seekers. Care Oswin. I didn't see Ban Lauren as the sort of nobleman that would become involved in this war. The sooner we go there, the sooner I can put this search behind me. Okay. That's enough for now. Another time, then. Did we unlock a thing? Did we unlock the instance for Cassandra? Because I know that there are a bit of a story where we where we indeed interact with uh, or with the seekers and such. It's very very interesting. Thank you. Demons have come to destroy this peace we have held for so long. Ally or foe, make our only nose. Ally or fallen, make our only nose. The strong all lives on. So pretty, I love the bard songs. Ah, come on, Krim. I'm working my ass off trying to get you to see that move. You still got plenty of ass left, Chief. Ah, uh, your worship. Glad you came by. I got a letter from my contacts in the Ben Hasra. Already verified it with red. Red? Who's red? Oh, Liliana, the redhead. Right. Uh, what's in the letter? What did the letter say? The Ben Hasrath have been reading my reports. They don't like Corypheus or his Venatori. Well, neither do we. And they really don't like Red Lyrium. They're ready to work with us. With you, boss. The Canari and the Inquisition joining forces uh sure that could be a powerful alliance my people have never made a full-blown alliance with a foreign power before this would be a big step they found a massive red lyrium shipping operation out on the coast they wanted us to hit it together talked about bringing in one of their dreadnoughts always wanted to see one of those big war ships in action Did you see that? Go get some water. They're worried about tipping the smugglers, so no army. My charges, you, maybe some backup. Um, sure. What's wrong? You don't seem entirely happy about this. No, I'm good. It's, uh, I'm used to them being over there. <laughs> it's been a while. <laughs> right. I thought Kunari wanted to extend their reach to the whole world. Yeah. Just didn't think I'd see it. Look, the Kuhn answers a lot of questions. It's a good life for a lot of people. But it's a big change. And a lot of folks here wouldn't do so well under that kind of life. I guess it's not like we're converting. This is just us joining forces against Corypheus. On that front, I think we're good. Right. What does this alliance really get us? They wouldn't use the word alliance if they didn't mean it. Naval power. More Ben Hasrath reports. Kunari soldiers pointed at the Venatori. It could do a lot of good. Sure. I think the Inquisition could use some help from the Kunari. Good. I'll pass on word to Colin and Red. We can set up the meeting whenever you're ready. Cool. Um, that sounds good. How do I get this started? Is that through a Our mission table? The winding road. How you doing? See you later, Bull. Nice see talking you later. You, boss. Yeah, nice talking. I see another exclamation mark. Is that Sarah? You've been skittish for days. What's up your crawl? My what? No, I don't think it's Sarah. Oh, that's him though. Hey you, you have time? It's not a question, let's go. I've got something I want to do for you. Just come, you won't need your gear and stuff. 
Duh. What? Sarah, explain. Ah, oh, just come on, will you? I haven't wanted to do this with anyone for a long time. We're eating on a roof. They're horrible, right? And raisins. Ugh. I freaking still hate cookies. Why are we eating cookies? Why am I sitting on a roof eating awful baked goods? I got caught stealing when I was little, yeah? You get alienage or worse for that, but the Lady Emerald took me in. She was sick and couldn't have children. I had no parents. It worked out. Anyway, she gets a year sicker, so I ask her about cookies. Because mums make cookies. I can pass that down or something. Turns out, she couldn't cook. She missed that talk with her mom. The ones she made, she bought and pretended. Ah, oh, right? Well, no, she was a bitch. <laughs> okay. She hid buying them by keeping me away from the baker. She did that by lying that he didn't like me, didn't like elves. She let me hate so she could protect her pride. I hated him so much and I hated... Okay. Well, she died. And I hate pride. Pride cookies. But this is great. You're great. <laughs> so I thought maybe me and you could make some. I don't know. Us cookies. Sure. Because then I could like them again. Oh, that's stupid. Ah! Um, why hate her? I don't understand. This Lady Emerald was just trying to be good to you. She hurt people. It was just cookies. It was not just cookies. Lie to herself, fair play, only hurts her. But she made me think there was something wrong with me. And the baker? I made his life shit. Why not? It seemed like he deserved it. I mean, if you don't give a child a cookie because of appearances, you're a monster. Stupid pride horn noble. Ooh. I know, I said it was stupid. That's why I want to get rid of it. I want to make better cookies. Okay. Uh, that's a great idea. You know what? That would be great. See, I knew. Wait, really? Because it seemed friggin' daft every step to me. Suppose it's not really about them. I hate learning lessons. Makes my stomach hurt. <laughs> anyway, I'll throw this rubbish away. Next time we'll be better, yeah? Sure. Sarah. Anytime. Can we get off the roof now? Oh, yes, please. Smells like bird and dank. This part, not a good idea. Thanks, yeah? Feels good, this. Okay. Got some nice trauma dump. Love that for me. Oh, that's good. Um, Cole is here as well. Well, you're different. It shines on you, shimmering, sharp. You made magic from the rifts. Oh right, he's a spirit now. I hope you like the way I feel now. Yes, it's different but familiar. It reminds me of me. Did you need me? Ah. Uh. Oh, you can. How would you like to get out of here? Maybe do something fun. I don't know. I've never tried. Come on. Where are we going? Inquisitor, you honor us with your presence. Will you be dining alone, your worship? Or will others be arriving later? <laughs> uh, am I alone? Uh, so I am. Who can tell these days? I didn't even realize I was alone just now. <laughs> Very good, your worship. Right this way, please. <laughs> How to sound like a straight up lunacy. <laughs> please enjoy your meal this evening, your worship. You can't tell her. She'll laugh and then do it because she loves you. She wants to make you happy. That sounds intriguing. Anything you'd like to share? He wants his wife to tie his hands to the bedposts. Little silk ribbons. He worries she'll hate him. Oh boy. She only said it because she was jealous of your shoes. Remember his hand on your waist as the music swells.
so many little hurts, even here, away from blood and battle. I wouldn't have heard them before. Now I can, thanks to you. Yay. Helps. So you helped them with a few whispered words. The right words. Plus what I am, a little of me making the happiness stronger, so the pain fades. I don't steal the pain. The nightmare demon at Adamant did that. It made them less so it could grow. I help them heal. They never need to know I was here. You've made me better. Aww. I'm glad to help. It was my pleasure. Remember old Maurice, too proud to forgive, gnarled hands clutching the back of an empty chair, Find another path. There was someone before. He was my friend, but he didn't know what I was. When he found out, he changed. I lost him. Aww. You found out, but you didn't change. Didn't make me change. You let me be this, be more. Thank you for helping me find this again, for believing in me. You don't know what it means. Aww. You're welcome. Not really, no. But you're welcome, regardless. You don't need to. It used to help, but it doesn't anymore. Let it go. You were scared, trying to show them you were strong. Find him. Tell him you're sorry. The woman in the red dress thinks you would look good naked. Huh? She wants someone to compliment her hat. <laughs> they will never know, but I know, thanks to you. Well, that was cute. I like that. A nice way of um, letting me know I made the right decision. There's, there's still an exclamation mark. It's outside though. Ugh, outside. I don't know what the exclamation mark is for though. Is it even? Um, maybe it's not in there? I don't know. I don't know anything. What's here? Nothing, that's good. Great, love that. Oh, we have not talked to Colin at all. I have not started a single thing for Colin. Okay, well this is inconvenient. It's a bit cold and drippy. Uh, oh, this leads back to the inn, okay. Huh, funny. Hard and nice. Thing. When I reached down, my dagger was gone. Just gone. Know where I found it? In a barrel. The thing was filled to the brim with daggers. Got the strangest feeling. I know someone took it right off my belt, but can't recall who. What uh, are we doing here? Why are we standing like this? Hello? Who are we, by the way? <laughs> who are these people? Okay. Sure. Um, okay, so we can still talk to Colin. We probably will set a few things in motion. Um, so I'm going to save that for the next episode. Um, yeah, I think this is a nice stopping point. So in the next episode, I'll start talking to Cullen and I think we can do the Iron Bull quest. And I'll check if we can also do Cassandra's quest and we can continue Josephine's quest. So we have a little bit more of um, character building and bonding to do. But uh, yeah, I think this is a nice stop. Mode. Is this way too dark in here? There we go. A little bit of light. <laughs> Isn't that nice? All right. Well, 
it was not a lot of combat but a little bit of story building but that's also part of this game so yeah i'll leave it like this so i want to thank you all so much for watching there's a link in the description below if you want to about the channel and i will see you in the next one bye, -bye. Thank you.